all that big dumpster, Mr. D's, then. <laughs> oh my goodness! What you got? So, in George fashion... Hey guys, welcome to my new channel named Taking a Risk with George George. I'm here with Jeremy. What the Hales. Wait, yeah, What the Hales. <laughs> my name's not Jeremy, it's What the Hales. Jeremy, and we're at the unit that he bought, number 13. Lucky number 13. How much did you get it for? $25. How much stuff have we pulled out already? $25 worth. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Hopefully. We've been here about half a day, and we're not even halfway done. We still have a whole nother unit to get to. A 10 by 40, which is huge. All right, so here it is. Here's the inside of the unit. Woo! Now, just to be clear, they're not going to see any of this on What the Hails. No, they're going to have to go to your channel to see the beginning part of this, all the okay. stuff that we pulled out so far. And you're going to start working on that wall of boxes? Yes, I'm going to start uncovering boxes for you guys and seeing what kind of treasures I can find. That's about 15 foot of boxes. There's a lot of boxes. Let's get to it. All right, so I'm just going to pick a box. Since it's on top, I'm just going to pick that one. We're going to go through this one first. This has not been seen for 13 years. All this stuff was abandoned. I have a feeling those bananas are probably going to be rotten. It's going to make some decent banana bread. I would hope so. Woo. All right, so let's get to it. Premium bananas. Look at the boxes. We've got oh. puzzles. It's nature. That's always fun. Your sister loves this stuff. a lot to work on in here well you get back to work and I'll start doing puzzles that box was puzzling what kind of value would you put on that box uh, each one of these is probably about five or six bucks but I mean in time alone family time alone spent priceless These are all the boxes that we moved out of the way to get all of the display pieces out because these people were at the local antique shop. This box is heavy and it's completely sealed, so... Do you need a knife? I have one. Look at you. You Georges are all the same. You always have a knife. And this is the first time this box has been gone through in such a while. That was too close to the sausage. Where did you find that knife? Was that from a storage unit? No, this I actually bought online just from Amazon. Saw it, liked the way it looked. Has it failed me yet? Oh, what do I you think have? we're going to have a decent letdown in this box. Oh, not bad. What is it? It's a guitar. F oh, it should be a violin. Oh, very nice. Wait, wait, wait. What's the price at? That was that 120? No, that's just 12. It got me too. Okay, it looks okay. like 120. Well, you know, okay. maybe he writes his 120s like that. that maybe the be. little one is where the change actually starts. Okay. So this is a $120 violin. This is crazy because everything is priced. Oh, There's another nice. one. $15. The, the beautiful part is everything is priced. The not beautiful part is everything is priced. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's nice. Three little bears. Now I know why this box is so heavy. Oh, that one's Are there any Egyptian fairy tales? Like three uh, little yeah. bears? Yeah, but I don't remember any of them. Do you remember the context of any of them? Uh, like the three little pyramids? or? <laughs> oh, that's cool. That doesn't look like 13 years old. Wow. I got that for $3. The Electric City. Oh, a duplicate. Hoping we had the only original. Now we have both of the only originals. <laughs> Ducks in a pond, I believe this is a Monet. It's not gonna make us much Monet though. Okay, everybody always wants to know what's the date on the newspaper. Oh, that's because one of my favorites too. Oh, wow, this is actually a special one. You guys are not gonna believe this. What's that say, Jeremy? December 25th, 2005. It's Christmas. So I'm over here helping Jeremy empty out this giant unit. We're about halfway and I felt something and all I know is that he, he touched me. 
So there are a few boxes just like this and we keep finding animal poop and such and pee. And this just goes to show you the destructive power of these animals. We're thinking this was maybe a raccoon or a big bunch of squirrels and they just shred it. And this is where they live. This is where they eat. It's nice and warm in the winter time. It keeps them out of the elements. They ate Santa Claus. Dude, I found something they couldn't ever destroy. Oh, very nice. An American treasure. That is 1991. And wow. they were trying to sell the sign for $35. $35. And this is all from an antique shop. And just some of the beautiful treasures that was in that was in this box, they just completely destroyed it. But one thing we did find that was still intact is this awesome 10 electrified blinking ha Santa head light set. Still in pretty decent condition. The packaging is just a little bit torn, but that's pretty neat. Something you don't see every day. And uh, some Frosties are in here. That's a cute one. I really like this one. He was only a dollar. Yeah, these animals, left alone, can destroy some very valuable things. Hey, I found one of your puzzles. Check this out. Check this out. Oh, that's out. beautiful. There's one of your puzzles. Oh, there. wow. They framed Together it. and framed. Almost looks like a Thomas Kincaid painting. $15 for a puzzle already put back together. Or you could buy a brand new in the box for five and do all the work yourself. <laughs> all right, so here's another nice box. Frozen eggs, we haven't gotten to any eggs boxes, but it's been opened before us. We're gonna go through this one and see what we find. I hope we find a rodent. I hope so too. I've been I would begging love... George for a pet. If we could find a pet for me finally. What do you think made that hole? I'm hoping a baby raccoon. That's exactly what I would love. I call them trash pandas. I, I would love Rick, Ricky, Ricky raccoon. raccoon. I call him Terry, Terry the trash pandas. I would love him and hold him and squeeze him tight. Raccoons are something special. All right, so let's see what's inside this box. Get away from the sausage. Oh, more puzzles, which is always fun to find. Everybody had puzzles as a kid. Yeah, just a lot of puzzles. Oh, wait, what's at the bottom of this? Oh, hey, 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 what do we got here? Old tin. Oh, and it's filled with probably puzzles. Look at that, it's got a nice little... Woodland decal on it. Is that a magnetic puzzle? Can you open it for me? Yeah. I thought you'd never ask. That doesn't sound like puzzle pieces. Doesn't? You know what this could be? Legos? Maybe. I'm guessing marbles. Oh. But I'm completely and totally wrong. Put Are you ready? In the comments what you think it is. Are you ready? Oh, man. I don't think they're ready. Let's take a risk. Do it. Here we go. Three, two, one. Ah! I'm, I'm, it's gold. It's definitely gold. Lots of gold. So you know what this is for, right? Nipple clamps? Yeah, that's a no. nipple clamp there. And then... No. Oops. Oh, man. Shot that one too far. So you just... Yep, there you go. One there. And... One there. I, th I think that that looks about right. That's that was my best guess. I don't know what your guess is, but that was my guess. These are for shower curtains, that's for sure. No, 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 George, George. These these are gauges. Oh wow! Actually, this is what they are. See, you just like that. Oh, these are 1950s gauges. These are ni yeah, just like that with your nipple clamps. Such a rock star. Yeah, well, you know. What'd you find? So, I think this is actually a toy, but probably a working toy. It's made by Playtime, 
Okay. A Sprint walkie-talkie radio. That is super cool. So, 9 volt. We just gotta find the other one and you and I can have walkie-talkie. That's exactly what we need for this business. Guess what I found. George, George, what'd you find? Out. Your marbles. I've been missing those, George, George. Thanks. Out. All right, I found this awesome box on top of all the other ones. I'm really hoping it's actually pimentos and not yarns. Let's see. Nope, it's yarns. And actually, these seem to be in good condition. The mice didn't get those yarns. No, which is surprising because this was right above their bed. Windrush. That is brand new yarn. That's yeah, pretty cool for all you yarn lovers. So before I get any further into this giant wall of boxes, which goes way back, there's about at least 10 rows. I just want to show you some of the destructive power of these guys. We've already taken out most of the boxes that they destroyed. This was all the fillings that they had in there. Crazy. And this is what happens when stuff just sits. George, I, I just got to say one thing. You know how to bust it, you just don't know how to bust it like your sister. No, I'm, I'm a lot slower than she is. She has a lot more experience than me. No, I, I, do know. I was saying that she's shorter. <laughs> you're taller. You you bust it higher, she bust it lower. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. <laughs> All right. Always wear gloves. Yes. All right, let's get into this next one. This one. Shake things and sound like glass. I don't know, but I like it. I do too. Get rid of that real quick. And more puzzles. Go never have enough oh look at that it who, looks like, who makes that puzzle uh the lamb and the leopard shall mm. lie down with the kid that's preferred. uh the wolf also shall dwell within who makes this puzzle ibsen printed in japan i don't know new, new, york. Right? No, new york right oh no printed in japan very cool gal some books very fan it. of japanese culture i heard the japanese are a big fan of you as well oh, namaste <laughs> Oh, this must be that glass sounding stuff. What do you think this is? Uh, probably to a lampshade. Oh, okay. Yep. I thought it was a glass flower. Well, it could be a glass yeah. flower. flower. We just need to, to we just need to turn it into a glass flower. Some more crumpled newspaper. Oh no! Oh yeah, you oh, know hey, what those hey, are? Not broken. Yeah, those those skate around with the yeah, magnet. Is there more? Might be I inside think I had your. I kid. See anything? No, just a bunch of printed newspapers. There might be more down in there. Neat. I like that. Oh, or there wait, wait, wait. There, there you go. No, that he bounces up oh, and down. Okay. But here's his friend. Here's your Yorgi right. to that George George. Yorgi, Yorgi. Georgie, Georgie. Just a blank plaque for ten bucks. Huh. These I wish guys. that's the plaque set. The if, placards. If anybody is missing their Honda Accord and Prelude shop okay. manual. Now you may find this silly. That on eBay is probably going to pull forty to fifty dollars. I believe it. This is so an antique right here. So your old, your old manuals. You can't get them anymore, and so that's definitely an eBay. That's an eBay seller right there. That says Xmas. Come on. I'm hoping Christmas is in this box. I'm hoping I'm gold. Oh, very oh. Nice. oh, very very nice. We three kings of Orient are. I didn't know Jesus had blonde hair. He also had a naked butt. Huh. This that's that's got to be worth something. Super ahead of its time. All right, we're not blocking Andrew's number out. Yeah. Everybody give Andrew Smith a call. 808-8808-808. That's actually binary code. Everybody give Andrew Smith a call. He's not getting away with that. Look at that. I just completed the set of that jar. That's beautiful. I didn't even know it, those two windows. And it says not for sale on it. Oh, here's another one of those. Oh, oh another one, one of actual kids on it. That's kind of cool. So you have your fiction ice rink and your non-fiction ice rink. We got a couple ice rinks there. Oh, and a bunch more figurines that were super cold, so he wrapped them in blankets. Hey, baby oh, another, Jesus. another baby Jesus. Sweet baby Jesus. Sweet baby Jesus. I think there's just more figurines. Let's see if we can find Joseph. On the money. Look at that. Are you sure that's not one of the kings? The wise men? That could have been a wise man. A magi? 
I don't know, but he's holding a golden ice cream cone. Were they wise men or were they magi? They were both. They or were, were they wise guys? They were wide eyes. <coughs> and when they saw baby Jesus, they were wide eyes. Just like that lamb. Is that a, that looks like a cow. Whatever it is, it looks like something punched it in the eye. I think there's your cow. There's the pig. Oh, okay. That's the pig. I'm off on my on my barn animals. I didn't know today. there was alligators at the manger, but there, there you go. go. There's an alligator. Got a powerful chomp there. And is that Joseph? No, that's another magi. He's got a golden Rubik's cube. One of the best gifts back Jesus in the day. Jesus is supposedly the only person to have ever solved a Rubik's Cube. Now if you could just solve the enigma of a woman's mind. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so this box we found stashed away at the very top. And it didn't feel like there was anything in it. And it says roll towel. Yeah, so we were hoping there was toilet paper in it. My stomach has been upset. So, let's get to it. Did you tell him where you had to use the restroom already? Uh, <laughs> at a nice convenience store called Mr. D's. If you call that big dumpster Mr. D's, <laughs> then... <laughs> oh my goodness! What you got? So, in George fashion... Oh! It's another George! That like always... It's, this is the way it always goes with George's around. I can't believe it. What kind is it? It's a Robert. Made in Spain. Okay, it's I think a that'll show on my camera. Spaniard blade. Oh, look at those beautiful jewels. The family jewels are right there. So yeah. this lonely box that we thought was empty had a sword. No way, this is an old school pepper mill. At least looks old school. It could be kind of new. It looks really nice. How do you use it? You just you put your pepper kernels in there, your whole kernels. Oh, I see. Okay. You can only fit a few in there, and you just spin it, and it crushes. In between them. your fingers. <laughs> and it should pop them out of the bottom there. That is not usually. That's like that's like milking a. Yeah, that's it's very small. It's like I don't feel like you have a, the enough a cat. finger power to crush those kernels. Some of those can be quite hard. Actually, there's tons of seeds just laying around. Let's give it a go. Where are you finding seeds at? Uh, they were in the boxes. It's so weird. So there was the, the, the poop from the animals, and then yeah. right next to it was seeds. So I don't know. I okay. think they were bringing seeds. What kind of seed there is it? There it is. It's in put something in there, whatever it is. I think you might be... You crushing up poop? It's a, Doo -doo. it's a poo seed. I don't know what he put in there, but... No, it's not going to crush. N no, you might have to get the pepper. Yeah, I don't think old, little old ladies would be liking these things. Yeah, it's jammed in there now. There's, Story of my life. There's pooper in your pepper. <laughs> Alright, so that's the end of this episode. Make sure you tune in next time to see the next part of the unboxing. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Turn on notifications so that you can see when I pop up because I'm going to be dropping these videos not randomly, but I am trying to get them out on a schedule. Uh, make sure you thumbs up the videos if you like them. Share a laugh if you did enjoy them that much. Make sure to share it on your Facebook or your Instagram or if you still have a MySpace, go ahead and share it on there. Jeremy's just over there destroying some trash. Uh, so yeah, check us out next time and see the conclusion, hopefully the conclusion to this video. Bye! And make sure you pop over to his channel as well, What the Hail, to see the unboxing of some of the stuff that you're not going to see in my episode. You will only get the exclusive of some of the unboxings on his channel, and you'll get the exclusive of an unboxing on my channel. So what you're going to see on my channel, you're not going to see on his channel, and vice versa. So you have to check out both.